Today's episode of Tiki Way Weekly, I talk about pocket sniffers, what they do, what they are, and how they can be used. My name is Steve Smith and this is TQ Way Weekly. This is the last episode of season three. So this is going to be at tqwayweekly.com slash se3ep50 for the show notes and all the sources of today. And of course, we're talking about packet sniffing and deep packet inspection. And before we go anywhere, I'm going to be talking about this specific surface because this episode of TQ Way Weekly is brought to you by ProXPN. ProXPN is a virtual private network that allows you to use the internet the way it should be. Anonymously and without oversight, and for 20% off your brand new ProXPN account, go to proxpn.com slash podcasts and use the coupon code TQAWEE. Therefore, we get credit for the show and we can continue bringing you more and more episodes. And by the end of this episode, you're going to want this. So first, let's talk about packet sniffers. These Tools, packet sniffers, allow businesses, internet service providers, governments, hackers, worried parents, and interested others the ability to see what kind of traffic and the data within is passing in any given accessible network that passes their own through the use of deep packet inspection while simultaneously recording all data being collected. This amazing tool makes it easy to spy on data, analyze traffic, find issues, and determine how to possibly fix problems as well as detect intruders in your own network. And did I mention you'll be getting a VPN by the end of this episode? So how does a packet sniffer work? So how about we answer the first question, well, the last question in my show notes, which is why is packet sniffing possible? Well, for the most part, the internet is in plain text. For those who don't know what plain text is, plain text is any amount of data that is unencrypted for the majority of all traffic. All the data is unencrypted with the exception of people who encrypt their websites. While I don't encrypt the videos, the audio feeds and the RSS files yet on my website, but the website itself is fully encrypted, but not every single website goes through the process of encrypting all their traffic, since it does cost a little bit more than free to get an SSL certificate to be able to do this. So the reason why it is possible to do packet sniffing is because the majority of the internet and network data is in plain text. How does a packet sniffer work? Well, most Ethernet and wireless controllers function in a filtered mode that only accepts packets destined for that specific computer and ignores the rest. To get a packet sniffer to work on your device, you have to have a network card, wireless or wired, that can function in the unfiltered, promiscuous mode. An Ethernet or wireless controller on the same network as a communications of interest can detect, analyze, and record all traffic occurring in this specific network, this including free Wi-Fi hotspots. Remember my sponsor. Can all network cards operate on a passive or promiscuous mode? No. In fact, some network cards are actually so cheap, they're intentionally handicapped by the manufacturer good riddance, and their abilities are severely reduced uh, to this extent. However, it is not impossible to find a network card, wireless or wired, that can function in a promiscuous mode. In fact, if you go to amazon.com and type in promiscuous ethernet controller, you will get thousands of price varying hardware for every single one of your budgets in the world. So it is not hard to get this hardware at all. And who can use packet sniffers? And does it require any expensive hardware? I just answered that. Or software. This software can be free. In fact, the most popular, and this is gonna be in the show notes, download for packet sniffing is in fact 
wire shark. It's the one that I am most referred to, and it's even the one in my actual smaller netbook at the bottom that I use to detect traffic in my own network. Therefore, it is not expensive in either the software or hardware level. Therefore, anybody, including parents and IT departments, hackers, and just curious others can actually do this. Now, before you go completely off the deep end about your privacy at the place of employee, just bear in mind, this tool is kind of used to make sure you're doing your work, but more specifically, making sure that you don't go on porn or don't actually accidentally infect the network most of the time. And they're usually used to determine traffic issues, intruders, and other stuff like that. So it is legal for businesses or your home to actually do this kind of stuff. But just to point out something, whether your business does this or your parents does this or your kids do it to you, doesn't matter. Your ISP is doing deep packet inspection all the time. In fact, if you don't use a VPN, they can always see your traffic. They know all the weird stuff you do online. And if you're not on an SSL website, they know about all the weird chats you have online. And even if you encrypt, they know from which point to which point. So one way or another, there is somebody capable of doing this. In fact, before we go anywhere else, it is possible to packet sniff encrypted traffic. And I have a link to this in the show notes. If you create your own self-signed certificate sorter in order to sign all SSL traffic migrating through your network, this is complicated, but not impossible, and virtually all businesses worth their weight in gold already do this and you don't have a choice in the matter. Again, in this case, only using a VPN would protect your traffic and keep the SSL certificates from being modified by self-signed certificate server. So can using a service like ProXPN or other VPN service defeat packet sniffing? Yes, but if you wanna defeat VPNs, all you need to do to defeat VPNs and proxies is to just block them outright from being allowed to connect inside that network in the first place, making packet sniffing again possible. So in order to keep yourself safe from packet sniffing, you have to completely disconnect from the internet because here's another shocker, every single device connected to the internet, routers, servers, computers, already have this ability built in. The only difference is most of the computers on in the world, most of the devices, use a filtered mode, only meaning they only receive and take data destined for them. All other data is ignored. Servers, routers, ISPs, they actually send traffic going anywhere they want except all traffic, and most of them actually record all the metadata related to this traffic migrating through their servers. So this is basically why you want to register yourself with a VPN service. So now more than ever, your online freedom and privacy are under threat. Governments and ISPs want to control what you can or cannot see while keeping a record of everything you do. Plus that free Wi-Fi at the coffee house or airport terminal is putting you at risk because your passwords and sensitive data can be intercepted more easily than you might think. I just explained to you the why. ProXPN is a global VPN that works with almost inter any internet connection, creates a secure encrypted tunnel through which all your online data passes back and forth. Any online application can work with ProXPN, including your web browser, if you don't want anybody knowing what you're looking at on the internet, email, if you don't want anybody knowing what you are talking about or who you're talking with, at least not within your ISP or your business, file sharing if you don't want to get slapped in the face for torrenting, and of course, instant messaging programs for those who don't want people knowing who you're talking to. So ProXPN keeps everything you do online hidden from prying eyes, disguising your physical location, and giving you unfeathered access to any website or online service no matter where 
where you live or travel to. Complete online privacy with a 2048-bit encryption key, 512-bit encryption tunnel. Works with OpenVPN, PPTP, you get to choose. Protect yourself for your ISP's six strikes rules if you're in the US. Internet filtering, blocked websites, geographical restrictions for internet content, and online video with worldwide servers available in the US, UK, Asia, and more. ProXPN software for Windows and Mac offers advanced controls allowing you to select the programs or ports you want to anonymously route through ProXPN servers and also works with your iOS and Android device allowing you to use your data plan or public corporate Wi-Fi with complete and total privacy on the go. No app required and for those who use Android they have a brand new application just to that effect. They have 24-7 customer support. And all you need to do is to go to proxpn.com slash podcast for more information and to sign up. People who watch my show or listen to my show, TQA Weekly watchers and listeners, also get a free 30-day risk-free trial. Remember to visit proxpn.com and sign up with the coupon code TQAWEE. ProXPN premium accounts are normally $9.95 a month, $74.95 for the entire year and we've got a special offer. Use the coupon code TQAWEE and receive 20% off the lifetime of your account. So if you're worried about people sniffing your packets and knowing what you're doing on the internet, this is the best solution for you. And for those interested in knowing how to create your own self-signing certificate servers, programs like Wireshark, and even about hardware, basically a link to the results from Amazon, Go to tqaweekly.com slash se3ep50 and feel free to share, like, and subscribe to this show. Have a great day and goodbye. Thank you for watching and listening. Thank you for listening to TQA Weekly. Show your support by liking this episode, subscribe to get our latest episodes as they come out, and share with friends and family who may benefit from such a show as this. You may send us your questions, comments, suggestions, and or stories to ask at tqaweekly.com for our show notes, links to our Android application, alternate means of subscribing to our show, and information on joining our weekly newsletter, head over to tqaweekly.com. Stay safe and online, and have a great day.